These are the first leaks of the new iPhone 14. But what are you talking about? They haven't even released the iPhone 13 yet. They're probably going to do that, them meaning Apple, on the event that is going down next week. Very cleverly timed, the first leaked images of the iPhone 14 has started to surface the web. These renderings were provided by John Prosser, which is a well-known dude in the Apple community that is known for being very good at predicting upcoming Apple products. And this is how he thinks that the next generation of the iPhone will look like. And it seems if we have to trust these leaks that Apple will be going total retro with this design, going back to one of the earlier models, the iPhone 4. At least there would be a lot of similarities. Welcome to Mr. Unbox. I'm Henry Olsen, the channel where we talk about technology and gadgets, as well as poking around in the latest tech rumors. If this is your first time here, I hope that you will subscribe so you don't miss out on videos that will make you the gadget guru among your friends. Let's go through some of the highlights. The metal frame around the phone will be titanium, giving the possibility to make the phone lighter and more sturdy. This will also enable the possibility for a bigger speaker grill, making speakers that sounds way better than the ones we have today. Taking a closer look at the back side of the phone, it will be edge to edge glass, presenting a significant challenge in case that you drop the phone. If those of you that had the iPhone 4, you would remember that it easily got cracked up. I don't know how Apple will solve this, but this would definitely be a challenge. They will get rid of the camera bump on the back of uh, the phone, which has been annoying many of us for years. I know there is a physical limitation how compact you can make this, so maybe they will compensate for that uh, by making the phone slightly thicker, or they have found a new way of sort of orienting the optics inside the phone that will allow them to sort of shrink the size. This will definitely be interesting to see if that holds up because the bump on the back of the screen has been an eye poop for many, many years. There's been some rumors about Apple experimenting with a periscope camera system that will allow you to angle the image going into the camera in this way, shrinking the overall design. But in general, these periscope designs are pretty huge. So it'd be interesting to see if they figured a way around that. An upgrade from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels is also rumored to be included. How they will do that if they are doing some clever hick hack with software or they're using quad buyer filter technology, that is still to be seen. The rectangular volume buttons will be replaced with round ones. And because the backside is supposed to be ceramic glass, there is a high chance that they will put the logo behind the glass on the back of the phone. Looking at the front of the phone, one of the significant changes are they have finally gotten rid of the notch. The notch that this eye poop that has been stealing parts of our image for ages. I think they had that for the last four years and it would be a very, very nice upgrade if they finally got rid of that part. The way the renderings suggest this could be solved is by using a hole punch camera where you simply drew a tiny hole in the front glass will have the camera. This will still of course block some of the pixels in the screen, but not anything near what we see with the notch that we have today. And this will definitely be a much better solution than putting the camera under the glass that they have decided to penetrate the glass for better optics. Also, according to John Prosser, there will be no Apple 14 mini as part of the selection. There will only be two models delivered in standard and pro version. Despite rumors about only having wireless charging of the upcoming phones, the lightning connector will still be a possibility. I guess they haven't gotten to the stage where wireless charging is completely reliable. And me personally, I like to be able to hook up a cable to the phone and I don't care if it's USB-C or if it's lightning. So these were all the leaks that I picked out of John Process uh, video with these amazing renderings. In case you wanna see the video uh, by yourself where I got this information as well as hear it from the person himself, then I made sure to link his video in the description below. What do you think about the information leaked in this video? Will it hold up to the final production version? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it and I'll see you on the next one.